right out of high school, I worked at a standard station. We had what they call the white pump, which was the high octane gas. So from about 1964 through 67, when most of the muscle cars hit the market, they needed the 104 octane gas, and it seemed like most of the high trim cars that came in were the SS models. The SS and the Super Sport just uh, stuck, and that's what I looked for in a car. My name is Mark Lundquist and I drive a variety of Chevrolets. The 65 Malibu SS, 68 Standard Camaro, 72 Chevelle SS, 2002 Camaro LS1 engine. The Chevelle currently has a 502, 502 big block engine and it's rated at 502 horsepower and about 567 foot-pounds of torque. 72 Chevelle SS. It's a uh, 402 big block with air conditioning, power steering. Of course, it came with a factory disc brakes uh, with the SS package. It's got the F41 uh, suspension in it, which was a sport suspension. It's got the uh, S bucket seats, the SS dashboard. The 65 Malibu was a car I bought about 12 years ago. It was in a stock configuration. In fact, I was at an all Chevrolet wreckage yard and I had asked the gentleman to put together a drivable 56 Nomad, which I was interested in at the time. So I had a friend of mine drop me off and it just wasn't the car that I was interested in. And so I happened to see the Chevelle sitting over there underneath a car uh, port and I asked him, well, what's that car? That's uh, my favorite car. That's the one I wanted in high school. And he said, that's 65 Chevelle, it's my wife's car. And I said, is it for sale? And he said, well, anything I have is for sale, including my wife. So I bought the Chevelle, the 65. It was in a stock configuration. I pulled the uh, 283 with the power glide out of it and uh, proceeded to put a Chevrolet crate motor, which is, the, again, the 502 with the transmission. Painted it its original color. I wanted a, a uh, stock outside look, kind of a Restotech theme. And uh, we, it just went from there. It's got a Curry 9-inch uh, rear end in it. It's got four-wheel disc brakes. When that car was built, uh, there was uh, supposed to be four or five of them out there with a 502 conversion in it. There wasn't a lot of parts available, like exhaust parts, headers, things like that, that fit. And in fact, when I built that car, I tried four sets of headers on it before I found a set of headmen that fit it that the factory didn't even know fit it. We just recently put fuel injection on it, the MSD, Atomic Fuel Injection, which really cleaned up the drivability of the car and actually increased the mileage about five miles per gallon. Cruising the cars and get them out of the shop is one of my favorites, and I always use the excuse that the cars need gas. I, I make sure that I bring them in the shop when they're almost empty, because I got, know I have to run at least uh, the closest gas station out here is 11 miles away, and uh, I've been known to uh, go 50 to 60 miles for a tank of gas. <laughs> It's a lot of fun to drive the Malibu. It's got a lot of horsepower. It's got air conditioning, power steering, and of course the power disc brakes. It does have a lot of torque. A little over uh, 560 pounds of torque. And unfortunately, the reproduction sun visor brackets that you get on the market, because the originals were rusted, uh, the springs are probably set at a factory setting. But every time I step hard on it, uh, the sun visor moves back and whacks me right in the forehead. It's almost like a karate chop. <laughs> the car's not babied. Uh, if we go on a trip or it's been to Phoenix and back on a couple of occasions, been up north and uh, usually in the fast lane. After I completed the 65, I thought, well, it'd really be nice to have a first generation, the square box type Chevelle 65, and then the last generation, which was the 71 and 72. So I actually found that one on eBay in St. Louis, and it looked like a really nice car. I was also looking for what I call a benchmark car. I was looking for something that was bone stock, had never been touched, numbers matching unit, so when I received it, it was exactly as advertised, except it did, needed a paint job and it needed an interior. So those are the only things that I've done to it cosmetically. The 72 is a sweetheart. That is a ocean-going machine. I mean, <laughs> that just floats down the road.
very comfortable. The ride is excellent. You'd think you're in a modern uh, car today. It's quiet. The air conditioning uh, will freeze you out of the car. But that is a real cruiser. It's got uh, 272 gears in it, so it's an excellent road car. Yet, with the big block, uh, although in 72 they derated the horsepower, it's still got quite a bit of torque, so it'll get up and, and move on its own. I did all the work myself. My background is in automotive. I was uh, started as a mechanic and moved into management in the last half of my life. And I guess my story is typical of, of guys my age. We had a love for cars in high school and after, and got married and uh, raised a family. And then once the kids were raised through college and we had a little disposable income, I got back into the hobby about 15 years ago. We built this about four years ago. I wanted something well insulated. To, I want something air conditioned and heated so I could work year round in it. And I want lots of space and, and with a couple of uh, lifts. So it's a working shop. It's, it's nothing that's uh, just a play in or, or sit around in a lounge. I do all my work here. But sometimes I just come in to relax. I've got a couch over here and a TV and it'd be a great automotive program on or a, uh, any kind of movie that I'd like to watch. The memorabilia you see in here uh, is a lot of my history. Uh, it's just kind of a living museum for my personal use. The memories of the cars stretch back clear to the high school when, when actually I saw these cars when they were brand new. And it's a thrill for me to come in and, and uh, realize that I've taken a piece of history that may have been crushed years ago and brought it back to its former glory and done some improvements on it. That's very satisfying.